the former gov deputy governor of Central Bank of uh, Nigeria, uh, Professor Stanley um, Kings de Mogalu, had said that the only way that we can save Naira is if we can start producing. That Nigeria is not a productive economy. Therefore, it's impossible for us to save this Naira. And this has really spurred a lot of conversation. Mm -hmm. And right now, the exchange rate is such that Nigerians are groaning and saying it's so difficult to buy, to, to get dollars. So in your view, what can we do to stop this free fall that we are seeing for the Dire Naira? Thank you for having me on the show. Um, first of all, um, the Naira has been a currency caught between the devil and the deep blue sea. Yes. I'll explain. The Naira records depreciation during economic growth mm -hmm. and records depreciation during recession. Yes. It is only yes. the rate of depreciation that Change. differs. Yes. During economic growth, it is slower. And during recession, it is faster. faster. The gap is wider. Now, you have a monolithic economy that crude oil accounts for 90% of your external earnings. Not anymore, I'm told. No, it still does. But over the years, right, the crude oil has been, the product is being phased out because of technology. In most of the countries that buy um, the large quantities in the past, but right now, if you look at your um, balance of trade, contrary to public opinion that this whole thing just started, it started right from 2014 without people looking at the data. In 2014, we had a negative balance of trade of 1.8 billion US dollars. And as at 2020, it had increased it had gotten to $32 billion. So you're talking about a negative balance of trade for six years in a row. So something you said before the break about the economic rebirth, you must be willing to have that time where it's just draconian. Well, my worry is that each time we try to take those hard measures, the people will say, let the leaders start first, let the leaders start first. The labor will not carry placard. No, you cannot sack them. You cannot reduce cost of government because of this. Where, how do we meet each other halfway? Please drink water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, go to slide four. I'll explain that. Let's see slide four, please. And we're going to compare Nigeria eh, with Singapore. Mm. If you had watched any of... Um, there's a particular video of uh, Lin Kuan Yu when he was talking about how he transformed Singapore. Yeah. He said sometimes you have to break the rules or you bend the rules. You understand? Right now, in this phase... I think we need draconian rules. We need draconian policies. Mm -hmm. We need very hardline policies. We all have to survive. One of the policies which um, Lin Kuan Yu put down was that scarce resources will not be allocated for luxury goods. During Lin Kuan Yu's time, it was only meant for machineries and raw materials. You understand? Now, look at, go back to slide four, please. Today, in 2019, Singapore is 728 square kilometers. Very small. Now, for, just for you to be able to compare, Lekki Peninsula Hello. is 755 square kilometers. So Lekki Peninsula is bigger than Singapore. But yet, in 2019, Singapore exported $658.5 billion worth of goods and services. That same 2019... Sub-Saharan Africa, 46 countries, 1. 1. 1. Uh, no, 23 million square kilometers, 1.1 billion people only exported $429.2 billion worth of goods, wow. most of it mineral resources. Now, that same 2019, Nigeria exported only $69.93 billion. Hey. You understand? Mm. Now, 200, 200 million people. But guess what? It doesn't end there. It doesn't end there. Now, if you look at it, right, what is Singapore's uh, export productivity per capita? It comes to over 100000 That's about $115,000. Yeah, 
But when you look at that of Nigeria, if 90% of that 69 billion is crude oil, so mm. that is, we are not productive in that we sector. It is even the Exxon Mobil, the foreign companies. Mm. So when you now take the 10% that is left, it's about 6.9 billion divided by, by, by 200, 200, million 200, 200 to 201 million people. Mm. You only get 34 cents, like 34 kobo. Mm. So our export per capita is so low. Ah. We are very, very, very unproductive. Hey,